All right, so back to another video of the uh, Raptor X by Creality. Um, so my first video was just like a f unboxing some first impressions of it. I said I would do another uh, video doing some more scanning and this is kind of where we're at. So just to reiterate, I'm working on a 1957 uh, Ford F100 project and I'm in this project I'm gonna be doing uh, an independent rear suspension out of a 2017 uh, Mustang, so it's S550 IRS. Uh, so that's the setup right there. Uh, and one thing I wanted to do was I wanted to scan the frame. Uh, I know where my center line and my axles are supposed to be based upon the blueprints. I wanted to scan the IRS setup um, and get the axle center line and then figure out where it's in place. Maybe 3D print some alignment brackets. I am going to be welding this in place versus uh, bolting it with brackets. Um, but I could do some alignment uh, brackets off of some mounting holes. So I know I've got it exactly positioned center in the frame and the axles lined up where I need to go. So as I'm sort of, you know, notching things and replacing it, uh, and I want to put it in place before I weld it, I can kind of mount it. Anyways, that's kind of the idea. But to get into the scanning, I have added placement dots. I didn't do it all over um, the, uh, the cradle. My intent here is just to get the cradle itself, <clears throat> not uh, the whole entire thing scanned. I just need to know the cradle position. So that's why I focused. And you might see that I've got some dots on the axles because I do want to pick up the axle center lines. I did put uh, some more placement dots than you would have seen in the first video. I uh, just created some more zigzagging, makes it go a little faster. And one thing I'm going to try is somebody did comment on the last video that uh, there's an exposure sort of automatic setting I can use, uh, which makes it better in light. Uh, last time you see, I had to do it in complete darkness to pick it up properly. Um, so I am going to uh, try that exposure setting as well in this one. So uh, let me get things set up and then uh, we'll just cut to some scanning and I'll show what the results come out like. I'm just doing some uh, processing on the result. Uh, I think it picked it up pretty good um, for what I'm going to need for my design. Again, I wasn't intending to get the full uh, detailed um, scan. I just really need the cradle and the axles so I can get my positioning. Um, you will notice I did turn the lights off again. Um, it actually was picking up stuff really good that wasn't black. And so it was doing the um, auto adjustment uh, for what it needed for the light, which it, again, it worked really good as long as it wasn't black. The black areas, which a lot of it is, it uh, was picking it up, but it was a little slower. Um, so I decided to try it with the lights off and it was better. So, you know, my preference is to do it in a darker environment. The other thing that I did notice is um, to get the distance, it has a green light indicator, but in the dark, what you can tell is it casts these blue light laser lines. And when you have it at the perfect position, they're nice and sharp and crisp. If you've got it too far away, they start to get a little blurry and they get too close and the diamonds, because it's a cross, get really tight and you can just tell it's just too tight and that's just, just too close. So it, it actually helps you visually kind of see the distance better than when you're in the light as well. So anyway, I'm gonna let this process and then I'll show you the end result and I'm also gonna scan the frame. I'm not gonna record the uh, scanning of the frame part, but I'm gonna show you the results. So that's the end result after doing all the post-processing. Um, you can actually see it, it picked up everything I need. It's got my axles and it has the cradle, and it has the main mounting points, which is really what I was going for, uh, for me to find out zero. And I have enough that I can also set angles, and I did also get the front uh, pinion on it. So uh, so I can set up my uh, angle on my pinion too, which is really good. So I, I'm really impressed with the result. I'm gonna download those. I'm gonna uh, do the frame now. Okay, I did the frame. Frame went really quick, actually. Um, I did have some areas that I had less density of the dots, and Although it can pick it up, it does slow you down a lot. So higher density of dots, uh, the scan dots, does make your life a lot easier. It does go a lot faster. But here's what the end result is. Again, I'm only looking for a certain section of the frame based upon what I'm going to do to line up the first scan I took of the S550 uh, IRS rear end. But again, I, I like the results. It came out pretty good. Um, I'm going to do some post-processing on it now. Uh, and then I'm going to show you how I line everything up in, in CAD and go from there. So that's what we ended up with when we put it into Fusion. You can see here, um, this is a pretty usable 
scan um, that I'm going to use to line everything up and get into brackets. So again, I'm pretty impressed with the results. Um, I am liking this scanner, so I'll continue posting more work on it. And, uh, you know, check out my project review videos where I'm going to show more about how this installation goes and how I use any brackets or anything I developed from the 3D stuff. So I did want to just kind of close off with a bit of a, you know, what have I think about it uh, the second time I've done a scan. Um, I'm pretty impressed. I, the, you know, for me, there's, there's two major features of why I like this scanner. Um, the first is obviously the blue laser. It does play out black a lot better. Again, I like doing it in the dark. Um, I know they show you can do it in a bright lit shop and scan a shiny black car. Uh, you know, maybe that's true. Maybe people have um, better results. Maybe it's just the lighting type I have in here. I don't know, but I prefer it when it's dark. I can just see what I'm doing better. It seems to pick up faster and that's what I like. But regardless, I still like the blue lasers. It does pick up the dark and the shiny stuff really well. So that's great. The second one for me is honestly the wireless. Um, it's amazing, especially for what I do with car stuff. You know, I'm not doing small parts where I may not really care if it was wired. I'm fine with being at a desk. I have to move around large objects. I have to do into, you know, tight positions. I'm not having this wire kind of impede me and how I'm viewing and repositioning all that, everything all the time is awesome. So, I mean, to me, the Wi-Fi is, is more than worth it on the device on its own. Um, other than that, I mean, like I said, it's, it's, I've gotten used to how to use it. It's different software than I was using with my Einscan one before. Um, so I really like the device. I would recommend it. You know, it's expensive. Um, but if you're getting into digital stuff and what you're doing in your workflows, especially building cars or whatever, um, it, it does really pay off in the end when you start to use it more. Um, anyways, that's going to be closing off sort of the review on this for now. I'm going to be using it more. You'll see it in my project video. So do follow me, like, subscribe, all those types of things. It really does help a lot in terms of building this channel um, and me doing more product reviews, not just on car stuff, but tech, because I love tech. Um, so yeah, I mean, it helps me on doing both. So do hit like, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Um, take care, stay safe, and have fun with your projects.